Hello and welcome to Cyber Focus, your source for international business information. My name is Tim Smith and you're watching our series on business and peace. Our guest today is Andrew Hypley. Andrew is the Director of Defense Business Management, Analysis Optimization Directorate, Office of the Deputy Chief Management Officer. He supports the DCMO and the Secretary of Defense for business transformation initiatives regarding organizational alignment, process improvement, and resource efficiencies through policy and expertise and best practices for business operation improvements. Andy has also served as the Deputy Director for the Task Force to Improve Business and Stability Operations in Iraq, Office of the Secretary of Defense, and is also a retired Marine Corps Colonel. Today, Andy will share his thoughts on how business can help to build a more peaceful Iraq. Andy, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Tim. It's really exciting to be here and exciting to be on the campus of Indiana University. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Could you share about the initiatives you've worked on to improve business and stability operations in Iraq? What role has foreign investment played there? Uh, it's played a significant role. When, when we were first asked to come in, and uh, there was a number of uh, uh, government organizations working to try and help with the economy in Iraq, but our team was specifically asked uh, to, to focus on that piece, uh, the industrialization, uh, getting the uh, economics going again, getting the employment back up. And a key part of that was looking at foreign investment, uh, looking at outside investment to bring in, uh, to stimulate, to help stimulate the uh, Iraqi economy. And uh, I think two of the significant efforts uh, that we accomplished was um, there were, uh, a lot of the state-owned businesses in Iraq were basically idle or way under production and we were able to bring foreign investors in and look at joint investments uh, to try and get the, uh, the, the um, uh, industrial base back up over there because one of the key problems that they had was uh, l lack of capital to be able to do uh, until the markets got back up to do the investments that were needed. So that was a key piece of it. The other piece was just bringing in the foreign investment and seeing the opportunity to hopefully stimulate other markets and the value chain that was going on in Iraq. Great, thank you, appreciate it. The rise of Islamic State has created new challenges for Iraq. How have they affected the country's economic health and what role can business play here? Yeah, it's really unfortunate because um, it, at one point Iraq probably had one of the most vital economies in the Middle, in the middle East. And then through uh, the sanctions and other activities and the wars, uh, it, you know, it's severely digressed. Um, it, it, the point uh, when we were able to come in there and a lot of the work that was going on, we were bringing that economy back up. Certainly uh, Iraq has, uh, uh, the oil economy is very important uh, and the other diversity that they have. Um, the activities going on with ISIS, I think, has set it back. Um, uh, fortunately, we seem to be headed in the right direction on that, but I, I believe it's going to once again require uh, outside investment to come in to help it get back on, it, back on its track again and get it going again. Uh, I would just say that I, I think it really has the potential of, again, being a very, very vibrant economy. I think most uh, foreign investors and private investment see that opportunity. The challenge is uh, continue is going to be uh, the conflict and the stability associated with that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. For a business looking to expand into Iraq, what advice would you give in terms of establishing themselves as a stabilizing presence? Um, I, I would uh, I would offer up that there's a lot of um, help that's available through either the U.S. government, um, through uh, uh, the uh, military organizations that uh, have presence there and understand what's going on. Um, I, I would uh, offer up that uh, they can be taken in there and they can be see the opportunity that's going on. And so I, I again, think that with uh, if, if they look at the um, uh, structure of Iraq and they look at the underlying opportunities of Iraq, uh, I really would expect that uh, uh, investment's going to come back in. And as always, those that get in early uh, have the opportunity for the most profit, uh, the most uh, the, being able to vote, advance, uh, help uh, advance the Iraqis and get themselves back on track again. Yeah. Great. Uh, as a follow-up question to that, do you feel that the timing is such that this will start happening sooner, or 
is this still a, a ways out before this is I, allowed to happen? The, the, I think the tough part is going to be uh, as we continue to look at the, the governance of Iraq and some of the challenges that they're having with, with their, their government. But I do believe uh, one of the things that we felt strongly about was it's got to be done in conjunction as you go along. Mm -hmm. And it's got to be, uh, you know, working synchronous with, with the other uh, activities that are going on. So I think now is a very good time. Uh, I, I think the, uh, the conflict over there is heading back to where it's being diminished again. And so uh, now would certainly be the opportunity to be looking and, and seeing from an early standpoint what opportunities are there. Great. Andy, thanks so much for coming in to speak with us today. Well, thank you, Tim. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. That's all for this edition of Cyber Focus. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any comments or suggestions for future topics, please let us know at cyber, that's C-I-B-E-R, at indiana.edu.